I'm learning how to sail by taking the American Sailing Association Sailing 101, ASA 103, and ASA 104 courses. The American Sailing Association offers eight levels of certification, and this was the fifth day waking up on the boat in a week-long sailing program I'm doing in La Paz, Mexico with Go Baja Sailing. Like the previous couple days, today's story begins here at the Anchorage on Isla Espiritu Santo, north of La Paz. So waking up, a uh, nice day, overcast, but the wind conditions are gonna be good today. Do a bit of sailing and we've had our breakfast or coffee. I think we're gonna have a look at some uh, charting techniques and then head off. I'm not sure if we're gonna be doing our sailing test for 104 today or tomorrow, but find out that a bit later. The day started with a bit of cloud, which was fine while getting started and having a morning coffee. We took some time to plan our day and review charts and navigation. I was at the helm as we motored out of our anchorage, but we soon started to rotate through the different crew positions. In the previous videos, I've explained a few of the skills we learned during the program. Today, we would mainly practice man overboard drills. In these exercises, our instructor Doug would throw a couple fenders overboard and then immediately we would begin the drill. Someone would notice and call out, man overboard and then whoever was at the helm would appoint someone as the spotter. The spotter's job was to keep their eye on the target, and the best way to not lose track was to keep one arm pointed out toward it. As the spotter, having your hand pointed at the man overboard helped to not lose track of it, but I also found that when I was at the helm, it was equally useful because I could look over to the spotter and see which direction they were pointing. There are a few different ways to recover a man overboard, but the method we practiced is called the figure eight method. It looks something like this. Let's imagine you're sailing along and all of a sudden Bob falls out of the boat. Someone yells, man overboard, and then the helmsman assigns a spotter. The spotter will now constantly point toward the man overboard and never take their eye off of them. It's amazing how quickly you can actually lose sight of them. The helmsman will now bring the boat onto a beam reach and sail four to six boat lengths away. From there, the helmsman now tacks the boat back on a broad reach, aiming a few boat lengths downwind of the man overboard. When the time's right, you then ease the head sail to reduce power. The helmsman then sails to a point where you can head up onto a close reach, aiming slightly windward of the man overboard. Then slowly, you approach the man overboard at a speed of less than a knot. It should feel basically like a very slow walking speed. One of the key points in this figure eight maneuver is that you want to finish with the man overboard on the leeward side of the boat. That's because having the boat to windward of the man overboard will provide some shelter from the wind and waves and also make it easier to throw them a line. That day the wind started to die down, so after a bit more light sailing, we took time to take the ASA 104 test. It was another multiple choice test of around 50 questions. This one was a bit more difficult than the previous two tests, but I'll discuss this later in my final review of this experience in a future video. Okay, so after a day of light sailing, not much, the wind actually didn't pick up. Disappointing. But uh, yeah, now down at the anchorage. It's the first anchorage that we were at the first night. Looks different overcast conditions. Boat's in a slightly different spot, but yeah, just gonna finish up the day. Overall, I was having a good experience, and there's no question that I was learning a lot about how to sail. This was the last night on the boat, and I knew I would miss this experience when it would all be over.